Yo, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. I have an article from SeekingAlpha.com. Link will be in the description. We're going to go over what's going on in the world of precious metals. Also, getting ready for the year 2020 and what silver has in store for it in the next coming year. The 2020 presidential election, so many different things. The long-term picture looks very positive for silver. Now, before we start, I'm going to also share my Patreon. I have made a Patreon page where you can become an actual member, early access to video, Patreon-only updates. You can get my weekly newsletter. You can also get access to Patreon-only silver giveaways and everything and beyond that you can imagine. It's a great way to interact with me. If you do want personal investing tips and strategies, 101 uh, investing talk, this is the place to go. It's also a great way to support my channel. So anyways, I would really appreciate if you did join. The tiers are 5, 15, and 30. Uh, so yeah, link will be in the description. But anyways, let's jump into this article. Silver, silver, another indictment as silver sits around $17. We see silver right now at around $17, a little above that. But it has moved from its 2019 low of $14.24 per ounce to a high of $19.54 from May through early September. On the high, silver blew through the peaks from 2018 and 2017, but could not challenge the 2016 post-Brexit referendum peak at $21.09 per ounce. Even though gold broke through its 2016 peak, silver was unable to achieve that feat so far. Silver is a highly speculative precious metal. Over the past four decades, the price climbed to the $50 per ounce level twice, once in 1980 and again in 2011. The continuation in the bull market in gold would likely cause a herd of buyers to flock to the silver market at around the $17 per ounce level at the end of last week. Silver, the silver market was laying in the reeds and waiting for the next event or move in gold that will propel the price higher. If the price is sil of silver is biding its time before the explosive move to the upside, shares primarily silver producing companies are likely to outperform the price action in the physical and futures markets. Global X Silver Miners ETF pr product SIL hold shares in the leading silver mining companies. Meanwhile, one of the other stories in the precious metals arena over the past years has been the crackdown of market speculation, spoofing or pushing the prices of an asset higher or lowing profit is illegal. The list of indictment in the precious metals arena has been growing and last week it expanded by one who worked for the world's leading precious metal dealer and financial institution. An indictment in the sales side. On November 15th, another J.P. Morgan executive director found himself in the crosshairs of the U.S. Department of Justice. Jeffrey Rufo, a specialist hedge fund of sales in the bank precious metal trading desk, faces charges of fraud conspiracy and racketeering conspiracy in a super seating indictment in federal court in Chicago. This was um, someone, three of their employees actually got caught for spoofing or doing illegal activity. Mr. Rufo worked for J.P. Morgan from around 2008 to 2017. According to the charges, he worked with other current defendants to coordinate precious metal transitions to benefit transactions to benefit hedge fund clients according to the indictment in one instance mr rufo alerted jp morgan traders of an order to sell 93,200 ounces of gold or 90, 932 COMEX futures contracts. The traders on the desk then placed the deceptive orders to purchase gold futures to push the price of the yellow metal higher before executing the selling order. His arraignment will begin December 5th in Chicago. So placing false orders on these exchanges and canceling them before they actually go through. The charges are not likely uh, in the last of the expanding investigation, the U.S. Justice Department is climbing the ladder of responsibility within financial institutions, which I'm really glad because this really does affect the prices. And you've seen um, not only J J.P. Morgan do this, but Merrill Lynch also got caught doing this and the Dutch Bank, I'm pretty sure as well. But this stuff is highly, highly uh, speculative and it really does just it puts the market in, in, in a very tight bubble and it's not fair to investors like you and I or other people that are on the more digital side with ETFs that they're they're it's being manipulated it's being controlled behind the scenes and it's it's not allowing us to gain the full potential and not allowing silver and gold's price to naturally rise but anyways um, the, the DOJ continues to establish a widespread conspiracy to, to manipulate the prices of gold silver and platinum the charges are a stain on the precious metal market as they continue to point to abuses. Mr. Rufo was on the sales rather than the trading side of business, which appears to be the first when it comes to the criminal charges. 
Uh, so stay tuned for more developments over the coming weeks and months, which I'm definitely going to stay tuned. I'm going to be informing you guys. It's really important why you subscribe to channels like this because I'm definitely going to be uh, keeping up to date with this because this stuff is serious. And this is this is why gold and silver, more specifically silver, is so low because they're, it's, be, it's being controlled behind the scenes by these whales, by these big business billion dollar companies that have the money to control it, the power to do it. The, but anyway, I hope that now since they're cracking down and giving more harsher punishments, hopefully this will start to narrow the fields or the arena of people doing this. I know it's always going to be going on to some extent, but hopefully these bigger businesses might think twice before doing it. The criminal charges are likely to lead to a slew of civil cases. Since Mr. Rufo is serving the hedge fund community, the DOJ could also be looking into its involvement in abuses. Silver goes nowhere fast. After reaching its most recent low of $16.00. 61 cents per ounce on the active month December COMEX silver future contract. The price of silver has recovered to $17 level. So, the daily chart shows that while silver has made lower highs and lower lows since early September peak of $19.75 on the December contract, the price has been edging higher since November 12th. The, the, no, the November 12th low. The price momentum and the relative strength indicators uh, have turned higher from its oversold conditions and were approaching neutral territory at the end of the last week. Open interest has been, a, has been stable around 223 to 340 contract level with the price at just over the $17 per ounce level on Friday, November 22nd. Daily historical volatility climbed or declined from 24% to, uh, on November 13th to 8.9 percent at the end of last week, so that's that's good. Uh, the price of silver has been going nowhere fast, and the price continues to consolidate. The long-term picture looks very positive, and silver is building a lot of support right now. And that's why I said it looks good because if it was all wishy-washy, if it was highly volatile, just prices fluctuating up and down. It's not really building support, but right now you see prices are stabilizing just like before when silver hit that $50 level or that, you know, when it was at $50 in 2011 right here in this chart, you guys can see $50, 2011, also 1980, $50. See what happens. It builds a lot of support around this level and then it skyrockets, but you don't want it to go too fast because then a huge crash is going to happen. Look at that green and red bar, huge spike, huge crash, spike, crash. See that right there, right there, and right there. That shows that there's going to be a huge crash. You want it to build some momentum. You want it to to slowly appreciate. Anyways, the semi annual chart shows both price momentum and relative strength indicators have been turned bullish. The slow sto stoic uh, remains in oversold condition, but it's hard. It's turned higher. The relative strength has risen to neutral readings. Moreover, the option interest has been climbing with the price of the precious metal, which could be a long-term validation of an emerging, bull emerging bullish trend in the silver market. At 20%, the long-term historical price variance is steady, and there's been no significant price spikes on the upside or downside. So that's definitely um, that's definitely good to see that there. it's still in between the support and the, the support levels that it needs to be. And right now, it's definitely showing that silver's setting up for something bigger, more than likely to the upside. I mean, uh, let's go into this article right here. Let's go into this, this part. Getting ready for 2020. I've mentioned so many times about... You know, the um, presidential election, how the industrial demand for premiums have been spiking and the, su the supply, and supply and demand has been diminishing with the demand rising and the supply falling. It's definitely going to cause a lot of controversy, especially with the, the several different other economic factors as well. So we may see a sideways trading pattern in the silver market for the rest of 2019. Next year could be a completely different story. Gold broke out of its multi-year consolidation range from June 2019. If the yellow metal begins to climb higher in 2020, silver is likely to follow. Now, silver is gold's little brother. Anytime gold makes a move, silver follows suit, usually a couple weeks, a couple months afterwards as well. Global interest rates declined in 2019 with both the U.S. Federal Reserve and European Central Banks cutting short-term rates. Further out along yield curve, the Fed has ended the quantitative tightening program and the ECB stated or started purchasing government and high-quality corporate debt securities again in November. Falling rates tend to support the price of the precious metals as they compete for investment capital with fixed income securities. At the same time, central banks around the world continue to add gold reserves, which is bullish for gold and, by extension, silver. Buying, oh, here. 
Buying silver on weakness, the SIO leverage without leverage. I remain bullish on the prospects of the price of silver going into 2020. I would view any price weakness over the coming weeks as a buying opportunity. And that's what I always mention. Right now, it just means that silver is cheaper. It's a buying opportunity to lower your dollar per cost average and buy in bulk and build your foundation before we go into the next year with so many things at silver's, uh, at, <laughs> I guess, at silver side. So uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. The link is going to be in the description. I don't want to make the video video too long so if you do want to keep on continue on reading it goes into uh, uh, the buying weaknesses the top holdings um, it goes a little bit into some more chart stuff and yeah it's a pretty good article if you guys did enjoy it make sure you smash the like button I'm curious what you guys think silver is going to do in 2020 do you guys think silver is setting up for something right now I also want to do want to mention check out my patreon uh, if you can even just become official member and buy, pay five dollars per month you will get early access to all my videos patreon only updates access to the patreon silver stacking community and my weekly newsletter and you will obviously you will also be thrown into a couple giveaways that i'll be doing exclusively on patreon for a chance to win some free silver i would really appreciate it it's the best way to support my channel besides just watching my videos i really do appreciate all the support on this channel and it really is going to keep expanding and i'm going to keep pumping out content keep busting my butt giving you guys the newest freshest stuff in the world of precious metals but anyways i'm going to wrap the video up here this was silver slayer thank you for tuning in make sure you subscribe because i do post daily videos. I'm out. Peace.